You guys, it's romantic comedy season. Let's face it, rom-coms are adorable and also kind of garbage, which makes them perfect to pick on. And so I wrote a brand new comedy play called The Rules for Rom-Coms. So grab your cardigan sweater, a nice hot cup of tea, and cozy up to your phone and enjoy The Rules for Rom-Coms. And there's nothing in here. Morning. Morning. Is that my stapler? No. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? It looks kind of like mine. So, you had to check. I don't know where mine went. Mine has my name on the bottom. So you had to check mine? All right, uh, what's your name? Michelle. Okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled for a staple that says Michelle on it. Okay, thanks. What's your name? Jack. Okay. Aw, what a romantic moment! What magnetism! What electricity! You can just see the sparks for the liar! <laughs> not! <laughs> Let's face it, life is not like the movies. Romance in the movies seems so... Magical. So whimsical. So capricious. <laughs> so, so funny. funny! Even if it's not that funny. It, it feels funny. funny. Because love... Or the idea of love... Makes, makes us feel good. good. Just like comedies do. That's why almost every romantic movie is called a romantic comedy. Or a, a rom-com. Rom so, how do they do it? How do those movies give us the feels? Simple. They've got rules. A formula for fondness. And we've got the formula right here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, we give you the, the rules for rom-coms. <laughs> Bro, 
romantic. Romantic. Oh, you hear that? Oh, you mean those sensitive, sultry, soul-searching <laughs> sounds that elicit such sensuously sweet sensations in our sentiment-starved spirits? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Of course, the most widely accepted and yet most often overlooked element of romance is romantic music. Rob coms use this stuff all the time, and a good music pick can make or break a romantic moment. That's right. It could mean the difference between scenario A. Scenario B. <laughs> Not romantic. <laughs> Next in the elements of romance category, it's flirting. <laughs> about my shirt then. Uh, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> I don't have to. What's so special about my necklace? Oh, I don't know. It's kind of sweetie. Sweetie? Maybe you're sweetie. I'm not sweetie. You're sweetie. You're sweet. You're sweetie. You are. You are. Enough! <laughs> Obnoxious. Yes. yes! Romantic? Not, Not yet, yet. <laughs> the sadly. But in rom-com world, this kind of horrible flirting rubber tape can be the prelude to real romance. <sighs> Pew! <Woo! laughs> Next in the elements category, the meaningful embrace. <laughs> romantic? Romantic. However, a subtlety of the meaningful embrace is the smother signal back tap. <laughs> this is the International.
internationally recognized signal that someone here is not finding the embrace that meaningful at all. <laughs> this embrace should now be aborted. Under these circumstances, the prolonged embrace becomes awkward. <laughs> Fancy jewelry. 
Well, in rom-com land, even a string tied around a girl's finger is considered romantic if it represents true love. Little rowboats are romantic. <laughs> and if there's a picnic basket in it, even, even better. better. And if that picnic basket has two wine glasses and a bottle of wine, romantic. And if there's just a little bit of cheese, go along with that wine. <laughs> Romanticer. And if there's a ukulele in the boat and several romantic candles floating alongside it, oh, yeah. that is bro breaking mantic. <laughs> Concepts. 
These are story devices that pop up again and again in romantic comedies. The first in this category is the meat cute. The Oxford English Dictionary defines meat cute as an amusing or charming first encounter between two characters that leads to the development of a relationship between the two of them. Meat cutes are a staple in romantic comedies and are the thing that gets the ball rolling between our favorite romantic characters. They might meet and hate each other. They might meet and have an instant unspoken attraction. They might accidentally crash into each other at work. Or they might meet on an elevator. Hold the door, hold the door! Oh, you can make it. <laughs> Thanks for holding the door. Oh, of course. This elevator is so slow. I'd hate to make you wait. Thanks. You're Rhonda's friend, right? Yeah, Margaret. Bill, Rhonda and I share a cubicle. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You were at Sue's party, right? Oh, yeah. That was a fun night. Totally. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's that? I like your thermos. Oh, thanks. It's sort of old school. Is it new? No, I've had it for ages. I just like plaid. Huh. Yeah, me too. Cool. <laughs> you know, when I was a little kid, I had a plaid lunchbox that looked just like that. It was old and it had a thermos. It was my mom's when she was a kid. Uh huh. That's sweet. Yeah, I loved it. I got picked on for it though. You did? Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because it was old or because it was plaid. Or because I was very, very nerdy and sixth grade was brutal. Oh, yeah. I know. You know, I even remember giving that thermos away. You gave it away? Yeah, to the girl that I had the biggest crush on. Oh. <laughs> she really liked plaid, but she was moving away to Denver. So I decided to give it to her as a little goodbye present. Did you ever see that girl again? No. What was her name? Peggy. Peggy Stanford? Yeah. Billy? Yeah. Billy Montgomery? Peggy? Peggy! <laughs> Romantic? Romantic. <laughs> meet cutes can happen anywhere. Some common meet cute locations include the workplace, the local coffee shop, and bonus points if it's at a wedding. 72% of rom coms either begin or end with a wedding. <laughs> Next in this category are will they, won't they moments. This couple is in love. But he caught her cheating. <gasps> this couple is not in love. But she wasn't really cheating, she was just hugging her brother. <laughs> But then she found out that his buddies made a bet with him that he couldn't get her to propose. <laughs> that couple is not in love. But early on he called off the bet because he realized he was actually falling for her. The couple is in love. But then he found out that her daddy is the money-hungry land baron that nearly put the family farm out of business. <laughs> until she rolled up her sleeves and helped bring in the fall harvest. Saving the family farm. <laughs> the couple is in love. Love is usually not this on again, off again. But we tend to love it. And, and it, it keeps, keeps us watching. watching. Next is stalking. <laughs> following and stalking and rock. <laughs> this usually happens in one of the many off-again moments of the movie when somebody still wants the other person. 
obviously, in real life, stalking is creepy and scary. <laughs> Tony? 
coming through. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, I'm tall. Wait, that's a cross. Sorry. Uh, Toby. <laughs> Who's Toby? Sit down. You can't see. You're in the way, man. Um, hi. I know it's hard to see. <laughs> Face. I would compliment your face. 
You have a beautiful face. Oh, I mean, oh, sheesh. <laughs> no, I mean that the stapler is red, and red is the complementary color to green. <laughs> positively affect people's moods. What? The studies show that continued exposure to complementary colors tends to make people happier. I discovered a book on it. Repetitive, obnoxious wordplay. You discovered a book? Yeah, I discovered a book. <laughs> really? Really? You discovered one? Yeah, I discover <laughs> books all the time. Discovered? That's a great word. I should use it more. You're welcome to. No. <laughs> Fascinating. Did you also discover that you're colorblind? What? <laughs> that mug isn't green. It's blue. What? That is a totally blue mug. What? Nah. -uh. <laughs> hey, Tina. The female sidekick has virtually no life. <laughs> what color is this mug? Blue. Blue. Well, you asked your sidekick. You should ask my sidekick. Fine. Hey, Troy. Yeah. <laughs> Blue. Yeah. <laughs> like a really good color. Come on, Ben. Let's talk about the romance of her pickup game for basketball. Hey, Troy. Yo. Down with some hoops later. Yeah, I'm down, man. Love yeah. hoops. Yeah. Man. Sweet. Yeah. Right later. <laughs> Can you hear it? 